Hello YouTube, Chrono 16, December 27th, 2012. And as I had already told you, which again, it doesn't take a rocket scientist or psychic or, or remote viewer to see that when that, that shooting took place over in Connecticut, that they were going to use it to go after everybody's guns. Now, let's just use a little bit of common sense here, you know, because I've gotten a lot of uh, people attacking me uh, on YouTube because I made the video saying that that video, that that shooting was a false flag so they can take guns. And that's exactly what happened. OK, uh, for one, um, you know, there's some videos out there people are making saying that the shooting was uh, made up and never happened. I don't agree with that. I think the shooting did take place, but it was still a complete false flag event because we all know every school pretty much in America has cameras all over the place. How come there's no video re been released at all showing the two gunmen or excuse me, the one shooter in their shooting? Uh, the 20 kids and, 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 and the six adults. How come there's no videos released of that at all or showing anything, actually? Uh, you're not going to see any videos because in the videos, you will see that uh, there are more than one shooter uh, involved in that shooting. Now, as you can see here on screen, uh, stopping the spread of daily assault weapons. So what, what, they're for, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to say, that, well, if we take all the law-abiding citizens' guns away, they'll save the children and stop all the mass shootings. Now, does anything that I just said make any sense? No, it doesn't. Taking law-abiding citizens' guns away isn't going to stop anybody from getting killed at all, okay? Everybody who knows what's really going on out there knows that all they're trying to do is to take your weapons away so they can have more control of you. This has nothing, I repeat, this has absolutely nothing to do with trying to save the children from getting shot in mass shootings in schools. It has nothing to do with this. Why do you think, go back uh, on, on our archives here on, on this channel. I have videos where, uh, or uh, news articles on NWO Report, and I think I got maybe a video or two talking about here, I think, I'm not sure, of how DHS was buying hundreds of millions of rounds of ammo. Why do you guys think they're buying all that ammo over the last year? Why do you think they've been buying that? They're buying the ammo because they already knew they were going to try to take the guns. They also know that there will be a small percentage of Americans that will just go and turn their guns in and say to themselves as they turn their guns in, Oh, I'm protecting the children. Well, what's going to happen to you when somebody breaks into your home and you, you and your wife and your kids have nothing? What are you going to do? Throw a knife at them? Huh? If they come in your home with a gun, which they more than likely will, how are you going to stop them? You're going to call the police and wait 10 minutes for them to get there? By then, you or your wife or your children can all be dead. Okay, this is about disarming you so you cannot protect yourself. That's what this is all about. So what do you do in response? You, you get these people out of office if you can. We, we do know that there's this massive fraud going on. You vote them out of office. But all I know is that a lot of Americans aren't going to turn in the guns. And I've come to the conclusion that these globalists who are running things in the country, all they want to do is to start a civil war. I believe this is what these guys want. They want to provoke this so that way when all the mass killings do start from people trying to, uh, from these uh, policemen and government officials trying to go in and take your guns away, and then a lot of them end up dead, then Obama can get on and say, well, let's just go ahead and ban guns all together because these people are resisting and federal officers are getting, getting killed and blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, this is all part of a massive plan to take full control of America. And the only way that the only way you can have a dictatorship or a police state is if you disarm the population. What do you think this is? And for all those people out there complaining and whining to oh just give your guns up. It's the best it was best for the kids. You don't need guns and you don't need to protect yourselves. Well if you have guns, go ahead and turn your guns in before they pass any laws. Go ahead and do that now actually. Go right ahead and turn your guns in. Like I said when I made the video about the mass shootings up in Connecticut, this was all part of a plan, and this will start a civil war. And I'm actually really thinking now in my head that they, that they want 
a civil war and that's the reason why they're doing this because they know it's going to start a bunch of stuff the future of this country guys is this there is no future for our country America is pretty much dead whether you want to believe that or not so my advice is and, and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to continue to have my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ he will help to protect me and my family I believe that in my heart and soul I know this I've seen it firsthand and that's what I'm telling you to do put your faith in God put your trust in God turn your life over to him if you haven't already and everything else will fall into place they're gonna come after our guns and all hell is gonna break loose I can't tell you to get I, I, personally you know I wouldn't give up my guns okay I'm just saying to protect your family make sure you turn your life over to Jesus Christ because this country is being judged for one and things are not going to get any better in the United States and if anybody out there really believes in their mind that Obama Barry Satoro is going to save them you really are deluded in fact why don't you go turn yourselves into some of those FEMA camps that are sitting empty right now that they have for the, the vast public of the United States go turn yourselves into them if you really believe that Barry Satoro, aka Barack Obama, is going to save you in any way, and, and that he actually cares about you, or that on that video that, that when the shootings took place, uh, you know, if you actually really believed that Obama was crying because he really cared about those poor kids getting killed, I got some land for you in Phoenix, Arizona, which is oceanfront land. Okay, the man doesn't care about you me or anybody in this country all he cares about is carrying out the agenda and Obama will be dealt with by God I'm sure just like everybody else will be who are complete sinners and who um, doesn't abide by God's laws nobody's perfect but I'm simply saying turn yourself to God and everything else will fall into place because they're gonna come after our guns in this country and it will start a civil war thanks for watching